So like many campuses in the United States over the past several years, we've had some challenges with enrollment. And because I serve an underserved population, student success for us starts with getting the students enrolled in college. So our approach to this challenge, we decided to democratize our data so that every single employee had the same student success data at their fingertips, at their fingertips so that all of us can focus on the ultimate goal of student success. So why did we do this? And how does data democratization support student success? Well, this is what we found. It focuses attention on institutional goals because the campus-wide dashboard that we use has student success data uh, on it. Everybody who uses it and looks at it is immediately focused on institutional goals. It lowers the walls of silos. Now that we're all looking at the same data at the same time every day, we have something to discuss. We have something to talk about. We have something in common. That didn't happen before we started looking at the same data every day. It concretizes information. I can talk to, I'm blue in the face about how, how we need to do X, Y, or Z. But once we put it in graphic form uh, on the dashboard, there are many graphs, people start to really realize something is happening with X, Y, or Z, and we need to make changes. It supports organizational learning. Again, we've, given, we've been given something in common to look at every day and talk about every day and ask questions about student success on our campus. We are learning together how to make our students successful by looking at the same data all the time every day. It increases transparency. There was a time when only I or my cabinet or someone in IR or maybe the deans had access to all the student success data. No more. I have access all the way down to my groundskeepers. We all have access. There is complete transparency, uh, role appropriate transparency, because some people have more access to drill down than others, but there's complete transparency at, uh, at some level of data on our campus. And lastly, and to me the most important thing, is that it enables data supported decision making at every level of the institution. So not only am I and my cabinet members making data supported decisions, everyone is able to now make data supported decisions because they have the, have the data at their fingertips. An example of this in action we have immediate faculty outreach to students who are potentially returning students who are eligible to enroll but not enrolled, to newly admitted students, and to applicants. No more waiting for an approval. No more waiting for someone who's probably inundated with another project in the IR office to give you a report. You log on. You drill down if you're a faculty member, and if you have applicants, newly admitted students, or non-returning students who you want to return, you can immediately reach out to that student. No more waiting for that third party report. And a success indicator that we've had is this past fall, for the first time in several years, we increased the size of our freshman class, and we increased it by 50%. I'd like to acknowledge uh, my team. Like Captain Picard, all I do is say, make it so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Star Trek fan. But my CIO is here, Dr. Ahmed El Hagan, and our data guru, uh, Prasad Dadana. They're the ones in the engine room making it happen. Thank you. Thank you.